once you finally get back upon your feet. Well, just wanted to say happy birthday, Mr. Clapton, 79. You know, a lot of people say, uh, a lot of guitar player friends I know would always say B.B. King. Yeah, you know, he only plays six notes. I mean, how hard is that? Uh, Eric Clapton, he uh, plays Cocaine and uh, uh, Wonderful Tonight, and he had a big hit with Layla. Well, you know, there's a lot of people, just like I'm ignorant of a lot of different groups, uh, that are just totally uh, uninformed uh, of the depth of music that uh, Eric Clapton uh, created over whatever his 55, 60 years of live performance. That in itself is utterly amazing. And uh, he was a huge influence to me. And I, uh, I had one opportunity to meet him, I believe it was in Germany at a trade show. And I looked over and he was standing about four feet from me. And I looked over and I said, Mr. Clapton. And he, he just waved his hand and said, nope, not me. <laughs> and, you know, I respected that. He didn't want to be bothered. And, uh, but I, I really regret the opportunity that I just didn't say thank you. Because uh, the history, the music that he recovered from history and brought to everybody over the years. So uh, my first uh, exposure to Clapton that I remember very distinctly was Goodbye Cream album and uh, I'm So Glad, the song. And uh, also Sitting on Top of the World, Politician, and of course Badge off of those albums. Uh, listen a little bit to Disraeli Gears. And uh, then the next biggie for me was, was this thing, Blind Faith and uh, Presence of the Lord, speaking of Easter. <laughs> it's just a killer song, Can't Find My Way Home. Everybody, that's anybody, has covered that tune. And uh, it's it's a gr just great stuff. And of course then, uh, the Layla album, which I lived on. I probably have listened to the cuts on that album more than any other music in my life. Maybe followed by, uh, I don't know, Joe Pass, Beatles. Um, Dave Mason was uh, uh, something I've listened to a lot. But the, uh, the Clapton stuff, you put headphones on and you listen to Dwayne Allman and, and Eric Clapton and Jim Gordon and Carl Radel and Bobby Whitlock, who was just fabulous, just a great musician. They all were. And they all basically came out of Delaney and Bonnie. Uh, if you go back and listen to their stuff, and it was Delaney and Bonnie with George Harrison and Eric Clapton on guitar and Carl Radel and Jim Gordon. Some, you know, that's the root, that's the genesis of everything that everybody's playing uh, today. Not everybody, but an awful lot. So, uh, anyway, happy birthday, Mr. Clapton, and uh, thank you for uh, everything you did. If you're, if you haven't listened to albums like EC is Here, was here, Backless, uh, um, uh, you know, the, the albums with uh, Marcy Levy uh, singing on them. You haven't heard Clapton. And uh, go back to some of his live concerts, particularly Madison, uh, not Madison, Hyde Park in England. And uh, just watch him play. Uh, Steve Gadd on drums. It just simply doesn't get better. Um, there are faster players. There are shredders. There are guys that I, I really love their styles. But, you know, this guy had longevity has had longevity and uh, staying power even and he's beat things like addictions and he's gone out to help other people and raise millions of dollars uh, to help other people beat their addictions and uh, so anyway that's my spiel on Eric Clapton happy birthday <laughs>